Right now at 5, just three months after Hurricane Idalia flooded thousands of homes along the Florida coast, residents are still fighting to get back into their homes back in working order. The Category 4 hurricane was one of the most powerful storms to impact the Nature Coast and Big Bend region in years. And if you thought this year's hurricane season felt busier than usual, you would be right. Well, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just ranked this year among the most active seasons. Meteorologist Andrew Brightman joining us here inside the studio. Andrew, so this is a bit of a surprise because of the strong El Nino, right? Yeah, that's right. Usually when we have an El Nino summer, which is what we had during this past summer in 2023, we tend to see less active uh, hurricanes and tropical storms in the Atlantic Basin. But still, this will go down, as you were just saying, the fourth most active hurricane season on record behind 2020 when we had 30 named storms, 2005 as well as 2021. We are tied with 19, uh, with in 1933 when they also had 20 tropical storms. We had seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. Lee was the strongest with 165 mile per hour sustained winds. Thankfully, though, we only had one hurricane make landfall, and that was, of course, Idalia went made landfall as a major hurricane, packing 125 mile per hour winds. These are all the storms that we saw across the Atlantic Basin throughout the year. And this again adds up to 20 name storms are reaching that tropical storm force wind threshold. Let's start off with Idalia. It wasn't around for very long from August 26th through August 31st. Got up to 130 mile per hour maximum stain winds. That's how it got to its category four st status. The strongest storm to make landfall this entire season did over two and a half billion dollars in damage. Unfortunately, seven people lost their lives to this storm. Another system I want to talk about. This was the strongest hurricane that we had during the 2023 23 hurricane season. That was Hurricane Lee. 165 mile per hour sustained winds. It intensified 85 miles per hour in just a 24 hour span, making it the third fastest intensification on record. It really was incredible how fast that storm ramped up, but thankfully really stayed out to sea. And then of course, we're going to finish up with Tropical Storm Ophelia. This was the only storm to make landfall in the Carolinas, 70 mile per hour maximum sustained winds. We did see wind gusts over 80 miles per hour at Wrightsville Beach, but really some of the biggest impacts that we saw, Tara, was the excessive rain, over nine and a half inches of rain in Greenville, North Carolina. So it was a very active season, but for the most part, at least when we talk about the U.S. mainland, we didn't see a lot of direct impacts. Thankfully, for the most part, many of these storms, especially Hurricane Lee when it was a Category 5, did stay out to sea.